Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Because though we have civil rights, what kind of limits do that have? Because you're still getting treated the same when you ask for the civil rights. You're still being treated the same after you ask for the civil rights. After you ask to drink out of the same water fountain, you still get treated like a slave. After you ask to go to the same schools, you still get treated the same. Because the only way you're going to make change is with your God. That's the only way you're going to make change. Listen, slavery just evolved. Slavery just evolved, man. There's a program on this planet called the Most High God. You're in it and you ain't going by it right. The, wise, the reason why you're going through what you're going through is because you break his commandments. You want to know why this word might not be pleasant to you? It's because it has no uh, theft in it. It has no looting in it. It has no violence that you got to do in it. We ain't about no violence. We about real change, which changes within yourself. Listen, we ask for civil rights and why are we being treated the same? It don't work, bro. It don't work, sister. Read that again, come on. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We got to be the most simplest people on the earth to stand before the same people that's supposed to protect the community. Bring it out. That's not going to make change. Right. March in the black community and change your people, man. Right. That's right. Straight up. Right. How long are y'all going to see the solution and not do it? Do it. This word, right. the Lord said many are called, but few are chosen. Right. Yeah. You're supposed to obey the laws of the land. Right. Because God set up the laws in the land. Right. God set the laws up. That's right. That's why most of that multitude, that crowd right now, is going the other way. Right. Because they have no solutions but anger. Right. Your solution is God and thinking clearly and right. right. Changing your community and your ways. That's God's good. That's God's way of solution the problem. Right. That's how you fix the problem. Read that again. Come on. Come on. Lamentation chapter four, verse eighteen. They hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. God wants you to understand the conditions that you're in. They hunt our steps. Why? Because of who you are. Right. So you, if you learn your enemy, you know how to act with your enemy. Right. Friends don't put friends in chains. Right. Friends don't rape the mothers of friends. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what we've been treated like in this land. Right. You may not want to hear it, but it's true. It happened. Right. It happened. Right. So how do you act off that? Keep God's commandments. That's right. Lord, ben, ben, if you want to stop the murder in your community, stop killing, Negro. Right. Stop killing, sis. Right. If you want to stop the adultery and the rape, then get you a wife. Right. And learn how to be with a woman. Right. Read that again from the top. Come on. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 18. No. They hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. So the Lord wants you to understand why they hunting your steps. Because you broke his commandments. That's right. So he says your enemies against you. Right. You've lost the fight. Fight, fight. But how do you win? Connect in your community and change the people that's in there. March to the black community and how the black lives matter. We know and understand that we being raped, robbed, and murdered by the people still today. But what is that? Why do some things keep happening? Because you have not changed. If you're not selling drugs, you have no reason to be in jail. If you're not murdering, you have no reason to be on death row. It's simple as the Lord wanted to be. Read that again. Come on. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be confirmed. The Lord said, 
bro, you've been listening to standing here the whole time, which is good. You're on the phone right now, but listen. The Lord said, repent. <laughs> the Lord said, repent and be converted. Repent and be converted. This Bible has a solution. You repent as an Israelite, brother. That's right. You repent as an Israelite, sister. That's right. Because, listen, it's all right. They say black lives matter, right? Right. But you ain't even black. That's why they don't even consider your life to matter. You mind standing right here in the front real quick? So I'm going to turn around. Right. So listen, they holler Black Lives Matter. We fought for civil rights for so long. And listen, those things that we did back in, in the past were set up by God, right? Lord, the Lord lead men to do those things. But listen, how much change has happened from that? Right. Why are we still the super predators on the planet? It's because you have not changed. I'll tell right. you straight. We haven't, right. we haven't repented and turned back to God. Absolutely, the most, absolutely, 100% correct. That's right. And I'm going to tell you straight. You amongst millions of thousands is on your way to seeing a better community. Right. I'm going to show you something in the scriptures, how we're supposed to think amongst the society that we in and those that police us. Because really, you're supposed to be able to police yourself, your family, and your own community. That's right. You're supposed to protect and serve your own community. You understand? And that's what the Black, the, the, the Black Panther movement, they did that until something crept in, which was infiltrators. You understand? But anyway, let me show you something real quick. Repentance is what we about to show our people. All right, come on. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. No. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Converted to what? Because you think you're Black, but you're not that. You're really an Israelite. That's your true God-given nationality. That's right. And because of the sins of a whole nation of our people, we lost that nationality. Right. That's right. God set a punishment upon his children. Right. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. And that's what we out here to do. We out here to show you that you do have power, but you separated from that power. Right. That's right. We lost our heritage. Exactly. And what is that heritage? A brother, simple things like this. What you eat. You're not supposed to be eating pork. Right. How you marry. We're not supposed to be up in here in the community having sex, repeatedly sex and sex and sex. Right. But you know what's wrong? What I'm saying right now is a light thing to some people. They think that don't matter. Matter, but it does right. because you are one amongst a hundred millions of our people right? and right. if a hundred million of our people keep God's commandments we will be blessed that's right. because we have his love amongst us and we have his power amongst us right. that's the only way you're gonna make change every brother out here is either seeking to have a wife or is married that's prospering in God's commandments and keeping the laws in society that's at right. peace Right. We learn and understand that we were slaves. And these people today still treat us like slaves. Right. But there's a way to think past the slavery that we were subjected in, which is your ways and God's commandments. That's right. Knowing who you are. Right. You are in God on the planet. That's but right. you lost that superpower. Right. Right. Your God. Read, come on. Come on. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Right. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. There's a word in this Bible that our God, our creator that's in the heavens right now, spoke against us. Why? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord said this about the Israelites. What did he say? You only have I known. He only pays attention to this one particular flower amongst all other trees and flowers upon the planet Earth. Right. Meaning the children of Israel. He said, You only have I known. So what? Read. Of all the families of the earth. How many families of the earth do we have? Families by the name of nations. How many different nations do we have populated upon the planet Earth? No. Many nations. Out of all the nations, we are the ones most persecuted. Why? Because God is moving the minds of people to punish his children. Right. We worship the God of spirits. Right. We worship the God that makes the man. You right. understand? And the, and the God that makes spirits, he said, uh, plague this people because my children are disobedient. So if you understand that, you can understand the society that you're in. Right. I'm supposed to be doing right amongst my community, amongst my planet, right. amongst my nation in order to seek peace in this land. Right. And that's what the Bible says. If you're doing right amongst your community, the enemy that enslaved you will have compassion on you. That's right. Until your Savior returns and we rule again. That's right. right. And that's the end result. We shall rule over again in righteousness. That's right. Not in the murder that we need to do right now. All right. right. So that's God's program that he want for you. And we're going to explain it in the scriptures. All right, brother? Come on. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 11. Bring it on. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant, Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well. The Lord said, if you keep my commandments and the faith of Christ as Israel, he's going to cause your enemies to entreat you well. But that's the thing. You have to know who your enemies are. Friends don't put friends in slaves right. and chains. Right. And we live amongst the same children of those that put our ancestors in those chains. Right. That's history. That's fact. You 
may not want to hear it, but God explains that in the scriptures. You went into that hand of the enemy because of our disobedience. That's right. The solution is you doing the opposite of what got us in that position, which is what? what? Keeping his commandment. That's it's right. Simple. The Lord said a man got to have a beard, a full beard on his face. Right. Because God made you in his holy and glorious image. That's Plain right. and simple. Give me Ephesians real quick. Chapter 4, I think it's verse 15. I'm going to show you something. God gave us a royal law because I'm looking at a God before me. So gods and kings don't act like everybody else, the commoners. We have a different way about us. They know who we are, but we don't know who we are. Right. Plain and simple. Right. When you read Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6, the Lord said, you are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Right. So read this real quick. I'm going to show you what God gave you. Because you know, let me show you real quick. You see this sign right here? Where do you identify yourself at? Just real quick. Judah, right? Christ, Jesus Christ came from that same tribe. That's right. So it's, it's without a shadow of a doubt to understand they killed Christ just like how they killed a black man today. That's right. And not only the black man, the so-called Jamaican man and Haitian man, so-called, right. Right? right? The so-called Hispanic man. Right. Why are these people being targeted amongst all other races on the planet? It's because God knows that we are his. You understand? Right. Right. And he's trying to punish us and have us realize who we are. Right. It starts with you. It started with us already and he's trying to do us right. That's right. And this is what it is. Read on, come on. Come on. John chapter 15, verse 18. Bring it on. Me that one in, um, James chapter James. 2, verse 8. Bring it on. fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. Wait, hold on. We got to do what? Fulfill the royal law. You got to fulfill the royal law. Christ kept the commandments. Right. Christ never kept Christmas. Right. If we want change in our community, 4th of July is in a couple days, right? Right. Stay home. Right. That's how you make an effect. Right. You hurt them where their pockets are. Right. You understand? That's going to make an effect. Now, you got something going on where they said on the July the 7th, we gonna go ahead and, 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 buy, and not buy nothing. I think T.I. said it or something, right? Right. That ain't gonna do nothing because you've already spent all your money on the fourth. So what a bill of change that's gonna have. So you mean to tell me you want your oppressor to treat you good but still keep his holidays? That's right. You want your oppressor to treat you like a human but you still choose his ways. Right. right now. And you forsaken God, your true creator. Right. You understand? Right. Read that again, come on. James chapter two, verse eight. Right. Right. You fulfill the royal law. Why do you have a royal law? I'm gonna show you, Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. I'm going to make it plain to you, brother. Because this book right here was written to you. Right. It was written by you, and it's only for you. That's right. And this is what controls us. This don't control us. Society should not control us. It should suppress the ignorance that we have because of, uh, of oppression. Right. But it's not our solution. Right. Plain and simple. You understand me? Come on, let's go. What's your name, brother? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Derek? Very easy to remember. I'm bad with names. But my name is Tiger Wong, all right? All right, brother. Read on, come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. This is why you have a royal law, bro. Read, read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Because you're holy. You're holy. You're holy to God. Right. Look, you had a multitude of people out here. Why are they down the street right now? It's because they really don't want the solution. God didn't send us out here for the big crowd. He sent us out here to speak that one word of message to you. Right. See. Right. He wants to plant a seed inside of you. Right now, but guess what? The Lord is dealing with your spirit. Right. It's beyond the society or reality that we're in right now. Right. It's a spiritual thing. Right. It's a thing beyond the police, beyond America, beyond Florida. It's right. a thing that's ordained by God. That's right. The powers that be were ordained by God. That's right. Yes, we have the judicial system. You understand? If you do wrong, you go in the brick. You go to jail. Right. You understand? But God should govern your soul that's to right. keep you far from the enemy. Right. Read that again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter. The seven, verse six. Bring it For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Our whole nation. Now when you read this, it's not plural for everybody. It's singular. You understand? It's only for one people. Right. When you read the whole book from Deuteronomy, I mean uh, uh, Genesis to Revelations. The world uses this as a sense of good motive. Right. Of morality. But this book was really for you to control you. You understand? Right. Or to have your ways, God's ways. Right. All right, come on, let's go. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To do what? To be a special people. To be special means you stick out. Whether you in your ignorance or when you in your glory. And even when you're in both, they still oppress you. Right. I'm going to show you why they oppress you. Give me real quick, give me uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. What 
I'm showing you right now in the scriptures as the reality that we live in. That's right. This Bible mimics our lives because we describe in ancient times the conditions that we were in because of our own disobedience. Right. Isaiah was a black man. Right. Ezekiel was a black man. Right. Christ is a black. The disciples were black. Right. God is Adam and Eve. They're black. That's right. And this world learns from this Bible. That's how right. How to be in society. The Israelite people that wrote the book, they're black people. That's right. And you have to realize that. This is your true heritage, brother. You understand? Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Right. Oh. Surely oppression okay. maketh a wise man mad. That's why we forgot how holy we are, because oppression makes us mad. That's right. That's why we mad out here right now, right. because of the oppression that we in. Right. We even have the people that enslaved us staying with us, because when it gets down to it, they're sick of it too. Right. Whether it be for clout, whether it be for social media or attention, everybody wants some type of change. Why? I said it earlier. You are special, brother, and you stick out whether you're in ignorance or whether you're in glory. That's right. right. You're different from everybody else. Right. That's why they fear what they cannot understand. You understand? Right. We are simply children of the slave trade. And how we think it is, is the result of the trauma that we went through because of what? Oppression? Read that again. Oppression maketh a wise man mad. The Lord said, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And what else? And they can destroyeth the heart. Because after that oppression, the gift that we was given by our, the, the nation that we in, the Americans, the so-called Caucasian race, they let us drink out of the same water fountains. Bring it Stimulus out. Stimulus check. Bring it out. They gave us welfare. Right. They gave us a right to vote. Right. You understand? The gift will destroy your own heart and make you assimilate thinking that you're what? African American. That's right. Got you thinking that you're American. Right. And God never made them nations. That's right. Everybody gonna know their true God-given nationality. Right. You understand? That's right. These Americans that we live amongst and Russians and all that, according to the Bible, they're of the nation of Edom. That's right. You understand? That's what the Bible says. Right. The world don't want truth. That's why the Lord said, you shall be hated for my name's sake. That's right. Let me show you what else your God so told you and his son. Give me Matthew chapter 5. Hold everything you have. Matthew 5 and 11 real quick. Bring it out. It's the reason why we're being so plagued in amongst our community. Right. But Lord, the Lord has a remedy for that. I'm going to show you what that remedy is real quick. Come on, read that. The book of Matthew chapter Chapter 5, verse 11. Right. Oh, blessed are ye when men the shall... say what? Blessed are ye. The only way you can be blessed is if the nation is blessed. We may have a little bit of peace individually amongst us, but to be blessed, the Lord was speaking to a whole nation of Israel. Right. He said, blessed are you when what? When men shall revile you. When men of the earth shall do what? Revile you. Look what they did to Martin Luther King. Look what they did to Malcolm X. Right. They reviled us for years. Right. Why? Because we're special. Bro, bro. That's right. you understand that what you got to focus on now is amongst your life and the people that you know change your way That's right. Right. and your example will reflect on the ones that you know you will have a positive influence on your kids That's right. or on your brothers right. on your cousins right. on your brothers right. on your sisters right. you understand what I'm saying it takes one soul at a time right. the Lord is looking for that number of them real leaders that's going to change that community That's, that's right. right. you're looking at them right now join the fight brother That's right. we fighting against it's the sin of our community. Power. While Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.